Welcome everyone, here is how you edit the home screen in iOS 16. So first of all, with iOS 16, you can see the search uh, icon on the home screen. If you tap into this one, it will bring you straight into Spotlight Search, where you can do your search request for your app, or you can search on Google, in the App Store, or in Maps. On top of this, you can slide across, and this will allow you to go through each of your home screen page as well. If you long press anywhere with empty space, if you long press for long enough, you'll get into this view right here. So from here, you can tap on the minus. So let's try that again. So we'll just go back in here, tap on the minus. You have the option to either delete the app. This will completely uninstall the app from your device. And you also have the option to remove from home screen. So you can have an app removed from the home screen. You can still search for it. It will also show up in something I'll show you in a little bit, but it will not be on the home screen. So let's just tap on this one. If you slide to the furthest page of your iPhone, then slide one more time to the left, you'll be brought to the app library. So in the app library, this will have all of your applications in these folders here. These folders are automatically generated by Apple and you cannot modify them. If you see the large icons here, if you tap on the icon, it will open up the app. If you see these small icons, that means there is a folder inside of the folder. And you can see even more apps here. And then when you tap on the larger application icons, it will open up the app in question. You can also long press apps in the app library. You can see either add to home screen or delete app. You can also long press an app and then drag and drop and you can add the app to the home screen as well. On top of this, if we just long press, okay, so long press where it says search all these app dots and then you just tap on the app dots itself after the long press, you can see all of your home screen pages and you have the option to tick or untick the home screen page. So what this does is if I untick this and then tap on done, you can now see my only home screen page is this one here, all right? If I go back in and I want all of my pages, I just tick them again, and I'll have all of these three pages. So that may be useful to you. On top of this, let's open up the settings app. We're then gonna find where it says wallpaper. So you're gonna see the current lock screen and home screen wallpaper. If you just tap on customize here, you'll be able to customize your home screen wallpaper. With iOS 16, you cannot choose Apple selection of Home screen wallpapers, okay. I just keep that one in mind. So you can either have the original, which you can blur if you'd like to. You can set, set a color, uh, color. If you tap on the plus, you can select a, you know, different color. You also have a slider for how intense the color is. You also have a gradient, so you can change the uh, gradient of colors, okay. You use the slider, and you can see, it just goes from darker purple to lighter. You also have the photos here to select your own photo. And if you do want to select Apple's default wallpapers, you will need to put them onto your iPhone's gallery, okay? Just go on like search up like iPhone wallpapers, all right? And then you'll be able to do that way. And then when you're ready, just tap on done. Do keep in mind that the home screen is tied to your lock screen. So if you change your lock screen in the future, you will also need to rechange your home screen. On top of this, Go to the home page of settings. You're gonna find where it says App Store. You're then gonna find where it says home screen here. And you're gonna see newly downloaded apps. You can have it so all new downloaded apps will either add to the home screen or only show up in the app library, okay? So if you're happy with your, with your current home screen setup, you don't want new apps to clutter the home screen, select this to app library only, and all new applications will show up in the app library and they won't show up on the home screen. Again, you can always long press, drag and drop to bring the app back onto the home screen. On top of this, if we go to settings here, and then you wanna find where it says focus, tap on the focus mode, and then where it says edit on the right, you can actually select 
the default home screen page, okay? So I'm just gonna select this one and this one here. So we're gonna have this home screen page, this home screen page showing up on the personal focus, but this home screen page here will not show up. So let's put this in action. So right now I have all three pages, okay? I'm now gonna slide down from the top right. We'll slide up from the bottom if you have an iPhone with a home button. I'm gonna long press on focus. When I select my personal focus, you can see that page with the King Charles is removed, okay? We only have two pages here. This may be useful if you have a page with social media apps and when you're on the work focus, you want that page removed. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Check out my channel for a bunch of iOS 16 videos, all the end screens here. Bye-bye.